Hello out there in the BC, it's me, and I got a helper today because I don't know much about what I've got. It's Thing is back. Hello, <laughs> Thing. <laughs> hey, yeah, Rick. we are hey, in. Rick. <laughs> yeah, bag of records, huh? Yeah, bag of records. I Thanks, dug, Rick. I dug that. I uh, dug we, that very much. Yeah, very nice. Thanks, sir. Yeah, well, great records. Oh, yeah. those blues are it's wild. Rolling Stones. Take it away. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me. Thank you for coming, Shadow, <laughs> Shadow Daddy, to do the Rolling Stones. These are all American releases or Canadian releases in order of release that what, what we have. Of course, their first album, Mono. Um, this came with a poster originally. Do you know if there's one in here? I couldn't tell. If you would take it can I, can sure. I just take a look? Nope. No poster. So maybe nope. me do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 My brother bought that for his girlfriend, who's still my sister-in-law, and I couldn't believe that he would give this away. Mm. You know, I wanted to keep it, put the poster up. I've learned Very to keep. Cool. Yeah, I've yeah. learned to keep everything. Yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful album. Gives me shivers still listening to it. The second album over here, a little different than the English one that they left off, Mona off the first album and put it on here so they could put uh, Not Fade Away on the debut album over here, which wasn't on the British one. And the British one doesn't have any lettering or anything at all. It's just the picture, which was quite a bold move at the time. They're pretty cool. 12 by 5, 12 songs by these five guys. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ian Stewart, the sixth Rolling Stone, is on piano all over these things. A lot of this was done down at Chess. Studios. That was a mono press. When they visit all mono so far, fantastic. Out of our heads. Now this is after they'd been to the states and bought a lot of singles and everything. So this has a lot of like Marvin Gaye and uh, Don Covey and things like that that uh, they picked up that were quite current, but did some very bold covers of. This is big hits. High Tide and Green Grass. And uh, you'll have to indulge me here. This, yeah. This was in the mod clothing section of the Tower Store. Up around us, I remember. But yeah, this still has. And there he is. There he is. Charlie. Charlie is my darling, as the movie's called. And Keith. And I don't know how the camera work is on this, but no, it's uh, fine. Okay, and there's Bill, Brian. No, keep going. Let's just say the mark. Oh, very cool, very cool. We find the original ones of these, the mono one. Fortunate to have that. Let it bleed. Got this for Christmas when I was 14. When you know Christmas it came out. This uh, came with a poster, which I graced my walls for quite a few years. Still have my copy. I think by this point they were all stereo, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, this is... After this, they did the live one, Get Your Yah Yahs Out, and then they were done with London Records, Decca in England. This was the first release, except for the Brown Sugar single on Rolling Stones records. And of course with the Andy Warhol design cover, the zipper, and of course the story is that a lot of these skip because of the zippers being pressed together in shipping. Goat's Head Soup. That was a, a turning point in my life here because this is the one after XL and Main Street, which is pretty well perfect. And this is the first <coughs> Rolling Stones album I ever, you know, heard that even with the presence of Mick Taylor and everything, there's some stuff on here I don't really care for. And, you know, you can't discredit them. Their first ten years were as crystalline, perfect. What's uh, Colonel Kurt say? It's like being shot with a diamond. Oh. It was so perfect. Ooh. You know. The horror. The, the horror. The horror. It's only rock and roll by a guy named Guy Pilart who did a book called Rock Dreams, a French artist. 
did the Diamond Dogs Bowie cover. Okay. Yeah. I'm just watching the battery time here. Okay. we got five minutes of battery time. Love You Live, the double one. Now we're into Ronnie Wood era. And this is like the first stuff he played in. It's a double, again, Warhol cover. Them batting each other. This is Made in the Shade. This is the greatest hits to go out with the 75 tour. And this is Some Girls. Okay, so we've seen these before. A couple original ones before they changed the covers. A couple different color ones. Very cool. And this this was this was a hopeful album at the time. It's got some good stuff on it. Shadoobie, Shadoobie. Two minutes. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> emotional I can't rescue. This. Ah, yes, fine. It's... Arab Charger. I shall emotional rescue. Whatever. Tattoo you. Start me up. Yeah. Okay. Keith on the back. Okay. These uh, the big greatest hits ones. Yeah. More hot hot rocks. This one. And more Hot Rocks, which has got the great, cause it's a great side to it with all really, really early stuff. Right from the beginning, like Come On and all that. That was just out on singles that you can get on here and some B-sides. This, uh, we're getting later on now in the 80s, Undercover of the Night. And then this one here, what is this even called? Dirty Work, right? This is the low point, probably. Uh, and this was a single from it. Harlem Shuffle, but everybody was having a hard time in that time period. Dylan Albans, there were these people that all should know better. We just seem to succumb to producers. And Anyway, I'll stop ranting there. Thanks for watching. No problem, we have one minute left. We, we have did. one minute left? Okay. I will, no, we don't. No, okay. <laughs> don't chance oh, it. All right. Totally knows what will oh, happen. All right, okay. Thanks, Eddie. Daddy. Oh, okay. Thank everybody. Thank everybody for watching. Uh, Thanks for putting up with that. Okay. Okay. Right, Ciao for now. The opportunity. Bye bye.